Tonight, 19 members of Missouri Task Force One are back home in mid-Missouri. Good evening. I'm Blake Salmon. And I'm Daniel Pro. Thanks for joining us. The Task Force members spent 10 days in the Florida Panhandle helping on the aftermath of Hurricane Michael. This morning, as they arrived back in Columbia, some members of the team reflected on their journey. After 10 days in the Florida Panhandle, Missouri Task Force One arrived back here in Columbia. FEMA deployed the task force to areas close to where the storm's eye came ashore. It's amazing to watch what Michael did to that, to that state and the swath that it took starting at the beach and working its way up through the, through the state. The destruction unimaginable. Logistics manager Adam Stouffer says it was surreal. It's hard to believe if you're driving down a street and see every power line and telephone pole on the ground. It's surreal. While they were deployed, task force members did welfare checks on about 4,000 houses. It's great knowing that we checked on them and they're okay, but they've lost everything. It's just hard knowing that folks lose all of their belongings that they've worked hard for. For some members of the task force, the damage in places like Mexico Beach brought back memories. There were some areas that it reminded all of us of Joplin and how those communities and those areas were just gone. For Stouffer, the past month has been especially hectic. He's been deployed twice in the last month for both Hurricanes Florence and Michael. I have great support from my family to be able to deploy back to back like this. It's just very humbling to know that a small group of professional people can make a huge difference in our country. Satisfied with a job well done, Task Force One members are now enjoying some well-deserved rest. Leak says it's only a matter of time until the next tornado in mid-Missouri or hurricane in Florida. When disaster strikes, Leak says Missouri Task Force One will be ready to do whatever is necessary to help those who are affected.